I'm not swimming it. We're talking about two and it works. Well, it really does give a good old welly to that thing. I really feel it going right up my arm as well. You feel it? Right, that was really good there. It was actually shuffling between his arm. Because as, it, <laughs> it as it hit his arm, it's suddenly being forced back against it. The charge switched. See that when it hits him? There, see that? Bang, straight back again. That is effectively a shuttle and ball experiment, but with knee left with one of the electrodes. So you're not swinging that, are you, Nash? No. Right, so it's definitely, definitely because of the electrostatic charge. Nice. Well, you have a little play with the uh, flattening of its paper. Okay, so you can say all of that stuff is jumping up and hitting you. Wizardness. Oh, it's <laughs> magic. It is. It is magic. This is what would be described as magic back in the old days. I'm sure of that. Right, excellent. You happy? And the electrons, though, are the all stretched away, which means that plasma is uh, a charged substance. It's always charged because the electrons have been moved. Because it's so hot, you can't hold on to it. So, are you still in the one yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you leave, leave it, because uh, it helps if the gas is coming out for a, for a second or two. It helps. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It should have worked by now. Go on, give it another go. Oh, there you see, I can see the spark coming down, but you're getting it on the outside. You mm -hmm. need to get that spark to hit inside. So you need to come in right from the top and burn it on. Okay. And then put your hand back. It's alright. <laughs> I put it on there. Go on. Oh, that was not too bad. Got the spark in the right place. It just didn't go. You're enjoying this, aren't you, sir? A little bit. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was quite impressive, actually. Right, so. After such a long way. 